Theodore Roosevelt said it best. Comparison is the thief of joy. And listen, especially in this day and age that we live in now, like with Facebook and TikTok and LinkedIn, compares like it, 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 it finds you. Like, and, and but listen, the quickest way to fail or the quickest way to lose your self esteem and your hope and your joy is to compare yourself to others. You know, I, 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 for me, it's something that I struggled with a little bit early on and not because I didn't believe in what I was building, but it, it, it was almost like a keeping up with the Joneses syndrome where it's like, why, 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 like, why am I trying to, you know, post like this other company post? Why am I trying to, you know, keep up with this, this other brand and what they're doing? Like, I don't think, com like, I don't think comparing, um, like you, I, I think it's okay to look at things objectively and acknowledge, okay, this is what this is person is doing. But to allow that to, to formulate anxiety in you to the point where like you're rushing and you're stressing just to kind of, oh, they did this, so I have to do that. Like, no, like that, that makes no sense. And if anything, it, 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 what it shows, what it communicates is ungratefulness. That means you're not grateful for where you're at. You're, that means like you, you don't believe in your process because you're trying to live somebody else's. And I think that's where we can fall into, fall into a trap. Um, because the, the, the interesting thing is like my process, what I had to go through is different than what somebody else had to go through. Like, like I mentioned the story about the, the lady that got rejected so many times. That, that's her story. That may not be my story. Maybe there's something else that I'm supposed to be developing. Like maybe for me, it's, you know, being compassionate and em empathetic, but for her, you know, she had to get, build that grit, you know, so she was rejected that many times. You never know, but everybody's story is a little bit different. And the other thing too is on social media, like social media is such an interesting thing. Like it's a tool, but it can be abused. And so you never really know what's going on behind that door because I'm sure you've heard it before. It's a highlight reel. Nobody shows like when, you know, they're sick and they're staying home. Like, no, they, they, they're, they're showing the, nobody shows the sneakers when they're like all muddy. They show that the, the fresh kicks that you just purchased, like your, you got your fresh J's and, and that's what you're showing off. Like, but nobody knows that a, like he's about to borrow $50 from his brother to take this girl out. Like that, that's, and so that's what happens. Like when you're trying to keep up with that, that's what social media does. Like social media, like you never know what the true story is. And so the truest story is be true to your own story and, and, and not compare yourself to what everybody else is going on. And, and I, I believe that'll take you a long way.